Maximum Kirby March! Let's get ready to suck it! For the finale of Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards on Memory Lane Gaming. I'm your host, the Tanuki, also known as Rocket Spewing Kirby. That kind of startled me. Did we get to go on another ride? That's not a ride. <gasps> I don't want it. I don't want it! Maximum tomatoes are for cheaters. I'm a cheater. Okay, how's DDD going to help me? Whoa. Whoa. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. I haven't actually damaged it yet. I mean, I'm trying to aim for its eye, but did I hit it? What is it doing? I don't think I hit it. Ow. I don't know if I'm just supposed to be dodging or if I'm supposed to be shooting it. <sighs> Ugh. These Kirby end bosses are all kind of the same in the sense that I never know whether I'm supposed to be hit. What the? Oh! Oh, it's got a band aid on its head. Why? Why the hell? <laughs> now what is it? Now what is going on? I don't... I don't understand. Okay, so apparently I just dodged for now. So I'm actually gonna stop shooting him. Okay. Naturally. Here I was thinking, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to, uh, to beat him on my first try. Maybe, just maybe. I didn't figure it was likely, but I thought, yeah, maybe. Nope. Okay, so do I actually have to hit him in the eye and then he'll, like, lean down? Or do I just have to hit him so many times? I don't... I don't fully understand. I... I don't get it! Okay, so it looked like I hit him in the eye, but how many times have I hit him in the eye? Or at least it seems like I've hit him in the eye. Wait. Oh, I can go a full... Oh... I am fully 3D here. Okay, but... But now... I can't actually go above him anymore. Ow.
He keeps farting. And I just ran into his fart. Oh, I'm actually doing damage to him now. The, the fact that there's, like, little to no, uh... Um, screen borders, I guess you could say, is actually throwing me off a little bit. Did I hit it? I thought I hit the, uh, halo. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Cool. Wow, that is really hard to judge where the gas is, because the gas is actually 2D. <clears throat> so it's flat. Oh, I was doing really good, too. I kind of understand. I still don't really understand how to hit him in the eye, though. Come on. I... There we go. That seems very, very picky. What? I didn't destroy it fast enough? Okay, I was, I was trying to, like, get around to his side. To see if I could just destroy his wings right now. Oh, his halo's back. God damn it. Ow. But no, I can't. There's a screen border there. It's it's very weird. Come on, come on, come on. I don't... Does destroying his wings actually really do anything? I can't really tell. Ow. What the... I don't even know what that... That second hit was that got me there. Looks like he's getting pissed, though. Let's, let's just try destroying his wings. See, uh... See what difference that makes. Because I didn't really notice a difference... ...in how he attacks or anything. And I, I, I'm trying to go as far left as I can, and I can't actually circle him. Not that I really... Not that there really is any point to doing it. But... But I just thought maybe that was the difference. Like if I took out his wings I could circle him or something. This is so weird. I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, it's not nearly as hard as a lot of end Kirby bosses. Is that it? Unless that's like the first phase of like eight or something. Really? Wow. <laughs> I love that it doesn't fit Waddle D. <laughs> oh, 
What a doofus. Project K-64. So, I did it. If, if you guys had seen my... my playthroughs of Kirby's Dreamland 2, or Kirby's Adventure, you'll know that me beating the end boss that quickly means that was an easy end boss compared to a lot of them. Um... The original Kirby Superstar, the end boss, wasn't that difficult. Compared to, like, Kirby's Adventure, or Kirby's Dreamland 2, or even this, this was harder than that. But the end boss for Kirby Superstar is my favorite end boss from uh, any of the Kirby games. And that's technically the end boss of uh, Milky Way Wishes on that. Because Kirby Superstar is divided into like several different games, basically. In Kirby Superstar Ultra on the DS, they add a whole bunch of more bosses. Including souped up versions of uh, bosses that you already fought in that game. And they actually have, I think, two new adventure modes in it, too. That is so creepy. <laughs> For a Kirby game. That's an adorable picture, though. I... I did it! I mean, it took me, like, two months to do it because of the fact that I was sick, but I did it. So, uh... Thank you guys for joining me for Maximum Kirby March, which extended into April and potentially into May. I'm unsure on how fast these will be uploaded. It's the it's towards the end of April right now as I record it. But yeah, uploading it's probably going to take a little bit longer. Because I'll probably upload one per day. But you'll already know that by now, what my upload is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure through Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. I, I love Kirby games. I do. And this game, I really did enjoy it. But I feel like this game had better ideas than execution. More often than not. Like, some of these double abilities just aren't even remotely practical. <laughs> They're cool, but not really practical. Anyway, once again, thank you guys for joining me for Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. And, uh... If... If I'm still doing this YouTube thing in a year, then I guess we'll have to play some more Kirby... For Maximum Kirby March, the third annual, and an, third anal, annual. <laughs> and on that note, see you guys.